Hey y'all, welcome to the channel. We're Candace and Haley Art, and we got a package yesterday, I think it was, from Jerry's Artorama. Jerry's is a chain of discount art stores. I think they're North Carolina based. Um, they've got a few locations in Florida, but none next to us, so we have to shop online. We are thinking about doing a road trip to the Jerry's Artorama over in Jacksonville to hit up their warehouse location and see about those deals. We will definitely be doing a video on that. Um, but we're going to unbox this because neither one of us has any idea what's in here. And <laughs> see what's in here, uh, go through it all, and maybe swatch it out so we can see what these all look like. So Haley will open the box and we'll get started. Oh, it looks like a nice uh, shipment of paint. So we've got some Soho acrylics coming out, it looks like. We've got the big tubes on those. Oh, some Amsterdam uh, expert level acrylic. That's a really pretty color. I'll be excited to see that one. And then, oh, the new Posca moppers. Uh, ever since we saw a couple of our YouTube artist favorites uh, play with those, we had to have one. And we've got a couple of the Lucas acrylics that you get from Jerry's um, in two different colors. Excited to try those. We've never tried those before. So let's go through these one by one and take a look at them. I think Haley's going to get some paper out so we can swatch on them as we go look at them. We're going to swatch on black and white um, just to look at the opacity level as well as be able to see the, how that Posca marker performs. So, looks like we're going to start with the Soho's. Now this is the green gold and if you haven't used the Soho acrylics, these are really nice creamy paints. They do have a lot of extenders in the pigment, so it's not quite the same as like your golden paints. But they've got this creamy consistency that's just really fun to work with, especially on the gel plate. And if you're a gel plater, you'll find that these will pick up a ghost print much better than a lot of our different paints that we use. This is the green gold. This is a color we haven't tried before. Not sure how it looks to you guys, but to us. It's a little on the olivey side. Not as luminous as you've seen some green golds before. Haley's just going to try a little dry brush action. See how it looks. Pretty color. The Urban Acrylic, the uh, Soho Urban Artist Acrylics, these tend to dry with a fair amount of shine. Color shift's not really a problem, but they definitely are on the shiny side when they are dry so if that's not a thing you like you may not like the soho acrylics um price point wise these are really affordable option i think the eight ounce tube that you 8.45 ounce tube that you're seeing here these cost right around eight to nine dollars and they do put them on sale occasionally we've got a couple more colors from that same line this one is the naples yellow naples yellow hue this is a nice warm yellow, almost the color of butter. And I'm excited about this one. Always nice to have more neutral options. And this yellow definitely reads as a neutral. Now you'll see what we mean about getting the creamy consistency. I don't know if you notice how it gets all over the cap when Haley caps it back, but. That's a common problem with this Soho packaging. Not sure if it's the consistency of the paint or the package itself. So we are going to blend that one out. You can already tell that I like that color next to that green gold. It is a little translucent, which you expect with most of the yellows, but really lovely. You can definitely see it. Haley put a heavy application for us, but you can definitely see that these paints have got that really nice thick texture. Not the same as like a golden heavy body. These are definitely more of a soft body acrylic. But they are a real pleasure to work with. At least for us. And again, same thing price wise on these. All of their colors are priced the same. Now this is the Rose Matter. This is a, a lovely deep pink color. We, uh, we were inspired by a YouTuber that we love 
Art Whisperer 88. He has a fondness for both the Naples Yellow and the Rose Matter Soho. Actually, we started using the Soho acrylics because he tried them and liked them and recommended them. So we've been using them and getting really good results from them. And for the price point, you just can't beat them. So we're always pleased with what we produce with these paints. Ooh, that Rose Matter is gorgeous. It's fairly translucent. It is a nice, deep, deep pink, pushing red with some purple undertones. Just a really lovely color. But outstanding for abstract florals and basically just anything. Haley and I are both real enthusiasts when it comes to pinks and purples, and this hits exactly the right spot. So those are all three of the Soho's. I think next we're going to look at the Amsterdam Acrylic. Now, we've used Amsterdam products in the past, but this is their expert line, so this is the professional grade. We just got the one color. We wanted to give it a try. This is the mauve. And it's a lovely... Almost lilac color. Very pinky purple. Amsterdam is a little pricier than some of your other options, especially in the expert line. I don't remember what this small tube cost. But as a rule, they are a little higher price point wise. Just first impressions. Looks like it has good consistency and body to it. Now, of course, like all the other brands, uh, Amsterdam's got the light fastness information and the pigment information on the front. We really enjoy the Amsterdam products. We may make a video kind of looking just at their stuff because they've got some really unique options. Now, that is just a gorgeous color Haley is brushing out. That's the mauve. Definitely is cooler. Heading towards purple. Or lilac. Very beautiful. Probably will have to order another of those pretty quickly because Haley is fairly obsessive with her use of pinky purples. That one's not going to last long at all. And that leaves us with two more options for paint, at least. That gives us the Lucas. Now, these are the Lucas acrylics. And we have not tried these before. Again, uh, this was uh, inspired by YouTuber Art Whisperer, who we follow fairly religiously. Um, he uses a lot of these in his work, and I was very interested after watching him sing their praises. So we are going to try those today. There's the coral is what Haley is opening up right now. And these bottles are fairly large. Looks like we're trying to figure out how to open it. Interesting packaging here from Lucas. Might even require a knife, Haley. We're going to take a short break, figure out how to open this, and we'll be back in a moment. All right, so we're back after a short pause. Sorry about that, you guys. So Haley was able to open those successfully. And now we are going to try these Lucas acrylics. So these paints come in the squeeze bottles that are a little bit on the larger size and this is the coral it is a little more pink less orange on first glance i'll be interested to see what it looks like when we get it brushed out these are a really good price point and uh, Haley's just pointing out to you that you know you will find the Specifications if you're into that. So as she's brushing it out, oh, it's a lovely color. I don't know that I would call that coral. It's definitely on the peach side of things. Lovely pink undertones, nice and warm. I could see this pairing really nicely with some sagey greens. So consistency appears to be a little thinner and it's a little more translucent than some of the other paints that we have swatched today. 
So I'll be interested to see how that is used um, on our gel plate, which is our primary sub our process that we use. So now we're going to use the Arctic. Now this one we bought directly because of Art Whisperer 88. Um, he's a big fan of this color and I wanted to see what it looked like in person after seeing him use it several times on videos. It's got a uh, really lovely tint to it. It's almost like a certain high-end jewelry store and designer blue. Almost like that Tiffany blue, that robin's egg blue kind of. Really lovely, actually. So cool and nice. Seems to be like semi-transparent there. Good coverage. Sorry for the interruption, guys. That was uh, Booker the Beagle making a voiceover appearance. Uh, turns out the FedEx folks had dropped off yet another Jerry's Artorama box, but we'll save that for another video. That one's also going to be a surprise because Candace has no idea what she ordered. Um, again, we were talking about the Arctic Lucas acrylic. Um, I think Haley and I both are kind of surprised by the packaging on these two bottles. Kind of a pain in the butt to have to cut the tip off like that and then use that cap. Hard to get a even cut on it, really. So the last thing we want to swatch out is the Posca marker. This is the, the newer, I guess, mopper. These are huge. And they come in, I believe it's eight colors. So you can get, you know, all the basics, red, black, blue, um, yellow, green. I think it comes in pink. Um, and we got the one in white. So a lot of people that use mixed media and do gel plate printing use the Poscas to put down a layer of texture. Um, these are acrylic paint. They're water-based. And they can, woo, really flooded it out there. I don't think it takes much pressure, hey, hey. Um, oh, wow, that's nice. So you do have to be careful on that initial uh, squeeze of the marker. As you can see, Haley, Haley flooded the paper. But that's okay, because now we have a great look at how this paint is moving and working. Like a lot of white paints, all white paints, it's uh, fairly opaque. Good coverage. Posca, of course, is known for their excellent quality. Now these do have, if you're a gel plate enthusiast, the Posca markers have a lot longer dry time than, than a Sharpie or similar. One thing to think about with these Posca moppers as well is that... It's kind of a amazing large nib there that gives you some different shapes you can make, but they are on the pricey side. Um, even at Jerry's Artorama, I believe they're in the $14 range per marker. Um, occasionally you see the sets. I believe Blick has the set of eight for in the $90 range, and Amazon, they're right around $100 for the set. So pricey, pricey markers. Um, Especially since it looks like if you're not careful, you could use half the paint in one go. Uh, but definitely, Posca is always worth trying out if you're a fan of the acrylic markers in general. So that's all we've got for you today from Jerry's art -orama. And again, we uh, are excited that you're here with the channel. Please like, subscribe, tell your friends. Feel free to go follow us on Instagram if you want to. And we will see y'all next time.